I've been trying to figure out why I like the Republican candidate this year, and I think I've got it. I'm a very religious person, so you might think it's strange. Why do I like Mr. Trump? And this is it. He reminds me of my uncle. I have four uncles. And the uncle I'm talking about had a music store in New York and he was very successful. And he did some illegal things and he did some other things that weren't so good. In fact, uh, a friend of the family told me once, you know, he's a man of contradictions. He does such bad things and he does such wonderful things also. You know, some people are just intense so when they do good, it's really good. And when they do bad, it's really bad. But what would we do without these strong people? My main concern is that we have someone strong. There's, there's a lot of dishonest people in the government and there are very strong leaders throughout the world and we need someone strong. You know, I live by the Bible. So I ask myself, anything I'm thinking of, what does it say in the Bible? And the example in the original Bible is that men are the leaders except, there's two exceptions, when there's no man available or as in the case of Deborah, the lady prophet, the lady judge instead of prophet, she was the leader and he was not, he was the leader at the time he was, um, I forget his name, but he was leading the army against some enemies and he wasn't willing. She told him to go fight, where, when, everything. And he said, I'll only go fight if you go with me. Can you imagine that? And she said, uh, okay, I'll go with you, but you won't get the glory for the winning this fight. A woman will. She didn't mean herself. She meant someone else. You could read about it in the Bible. Anyway, you see what I mean? Um, what does it matter if maybe the other person is nicer, more polite, more honest, uh, which I'm not sure of anyway. But what matters this time is strength. There was um, someone interviewing people in the Jewish part of New York and he came up to one older man and he said, who are you voting for? And he said, Trump. And the guy asked him why. And he said, well, he's a little crazy, but he's strong. And that's my point. You know, if you have a, a high crime community that you're in, and for some reason you can't move out, you don't get a, you don't get a chihuahua to guard your house. You get a German shepherd or something else like that. So think about what I'm saying. We have to do what's best always, you know, whether it's not the usual thing, okay? So study.